Hey guys, it's your girl Shady Diva coming back at you with another video. <laughs> so today we are going to Stu Leonard's. Um, Stu Leonard's is a supermarket and they are offering a drive through Halloween experience so we are gonna do that you gotta just step back in with some water and Sabrina's back there she doesn't want to take her mask off so I will see you when we get there about to go through this um haunted scary thing drive through Brina you watching
How do you feel about the little haunted house? I liked it. It was nice. Even, you know, for it being, you know, the time and everything. That was great. That was good. It was this good is free. for a small. Yeah, This free, is free. Yeah. I feel like the stuff towards... Looks so bright. The stuff towards the end was better. Like, the stuff that pops out. Mm -hmm. The majority of it is, like, stuff you put in your yard, like, if you have a house and stuff. But the ones towards the end were, like, really good. Yeah. So, <laughs> that no. jack-in-the-box one was that funny. So, Rita was like, <laughs> what the hell is that? So, that was that for that. And then we're going to actually go inside of Stu Leonard's and do a little bit of shopping. Not too much. I really just want some steak. So, go in and see what they have. So look y'all, they have the moon grapes, moon drop grapes, that's what they're called, as you've seen in my video, with the little booties on the end, with little buttholes, and they're right next to the cotton candy grapes. So this is at Stu Leonard, so this store is really, really big, and it is going to take us on a big journey. So we have to make sure we use the restroom right away. And we got here. Sabrina has her little pumpkin. Your little. See a pumpkin? All right, let's go. My beautiful wife, Mama Moo, and our lovely daughter, <laughs> Holly Sue, and I would like to invite you all to the Stu Letters Barn Yard Gallery right here and right now. So we went inside Stu Leonard's and a lot of the stuff that they make here, they make fresh. So this is one of the things. They make their own apple cider donuts. They make the big ones. They call these holes even though they look like just minis. But they make the big ones and they also make um, pumpkin donuts. They make all kind of breads and everything. 
This is just some gingerbread Oreos that I want to try. Um, it's not the season for those, and it will not expire anytime soon. So, you know, you know, and I'm going to try those. Um, this is some garlic and parsley fettuccine noodles. But they were pretty cool. I got me four avocados for five dollars and I got a red onion. I actually made like a chicken, like a chicken thigh fish the other day, and I had ordered a red onion, but nobody knows where it is. So I have a big cabbage. This cabbage is huge. Okay, got my greens in. I bought two different kinds of chicken broth. Well, not chicken broth, but two kinds of broth. So I brought their Stu Leonard's Organic All Natural Vegetable Broth. And then I brought their Low Sodium Chicken Broth. Okay. I also purchased some bay leaves because usually the bay leaves I had are dry. And these look like more fresh. Like, and I like the container. You're not going to use the container after. <laughs> they come in their own bags. So, these bags are reusable. And, you know, people have to pay for bags now. So, it's great to have some bags to be able to reuse. We're going to do a video on these. These are <laughs> this beard that's called Lego My Banana. <laughs> it's by Great South Bay. Um, this is a sour a, a sour ale with banana and <laughs> maple syrup. Um, it's a uh, 6.0 in alcohol volume so we're gonna try it we're gonna do a video on this I, th I just thought it was so funny they have all different kinds of um beers there that's from like local places and abroad so and then this one is called sour me unicorn farts and it's 5.5 percent alcohol so we're gonna try <laughs> we're gonna try that too and then we have another one this one is yingling yingling hershey's chocolate so we're gonna try this one as well okay we are 21 over <laughs> we could be 21 <laughs> but we are over 21 in this household um we got some apple cider, not for me, from Stu Leonard's, um, it's for Devin. I don't really like too much sugary stuff. Devin also got some apple fritters from Stu Leonard's. I got me some stew mix. I want to make me a stew. I want to put something in my crock pot and just leave it. These smell so good. These are stuffed baby bella mushrooms with artichoke, spinach, and cheese. What you gotta do is heat and serve. They smell good. I only went there for, for the Halloween thing and I wanted some steak. And they have really great aged steak. And they didn't have any aged porterhouse. So I just bought regular porterhouse. Regular porterhouse steak. Let's see. One and two. And then this is the meat to use for the stew. So that's all I got. Stew Leonard's is kind of on the pricey side. If you want to know what Stew Leonard's is, it's a supermarket. They have it in Danbury, Newton, Newtonton, and Norwalk in Connecticut. 
East Meadow, Farmingdale, and Yonkers in New York and in Paramus, New Jersey. So or you can go to his website. They're not sponsored or anything, but they're a little pricey. So I didn't like how they did their um, deli meat. I felt like it was flimsy for the price that she was paying for. I'd rather just go to BJ's. Let me tell you guys, those beers were freaking pricey. Like, really pricey for four cans of beer. They were like $15.99 or $20 or something. But that's because they're specialty. And, you know, that's I, I guess that's not something you drink all the time. I mean, especially the one that's saying it's maple syrup and banana. That sounds super sweet. But I think it's going to be funny to, like, try them out and see how they are. Um... Yeah, the price tag of today came to over $200, and it was not very nice. I only went in there for steak, honestly. That's what I really wanted to go inside for, and it's so overwhelming when you get in a store, and then you see a whole bunch of stuff, and then you're like, oh, maybe I can get this, I can get that, blah, blah, blah. So... And the service up there was horrible. Like, I don't understand why the service was horrible. So, when we went through the maze, the little Halloween thing. Let me get my fridge open. <laughs> when we went through the maze, um, they said you can put your radio to a certain station. The signal was so bad. Like, you're not going to even hear the radio in this video. I'm just going to play some music over top of it because it was just on some... <laughs> Like, so, ugh, it was horrible. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.